another man. Oh. You are the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man. No. You're not a man. Oh. You are the God of everything. There's no one like you. No one like you. No one like you. No one like you. I say, no one like you. No one like you, Father. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like Praise you. the Lord. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Before the service commences this morning, you have a testimony to share to the glory of God. Please, you are encouraged to go to the basement right now at the media stand. Document your testimony and during the course of the service, you might be given the privilege to share with the people of God. Please, before the service commences, appear at the media stand to document your testimony. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. We also want to encourage us to keep um, listening to the church official as to the sitting arrangement. Today shall be your day of breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus.
somebody that is excited to see the very first Sunday in the month of July rise to your feet this morning and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. You are in the sanctuary this morning, live and direct. Begin to give him quality thanks from the depth of your heart. Create an atmosphere this morning for divine visitation. Make this service your own service as you begin to give God quality thanks for what he has said to do in our midst this morning. Give him praise. Today is our covenant day of business breakthrough. As you expect to be breaking forth on every side this morning, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Celebrate him. Give him thanks that you are alive right here in the sanctuary. Appreciate him. Give him thanks. He's a good God. Bless him. Say, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is with him. Say, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not all his benefit. For he healed all our diseases. Be, give him time. He forgave all our iniquities. He satisfied our mouth with good things. He crowned us with his loving kindness and his mercy. He redeems our life from destruction. Give him thanks. He renewed our youth like that of eagles. Bless his name this morning. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. If you are set this morning to receive from heaven, create an atmosphere of divine visitation by worshiping him, by giving him thanks this morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. As you are doing that, begin to tell him that, Lord, send your word to me this morning. The word of breakthrough, the word that will relocate me to my next level in my business, in my finance. The word that will change my story to glory. The word that will shut down all my mockers. Send me my word this morning, O oh God. The Bible said he sent his word. His word heal and deliver them from their destruction. I need just one word this morning, O oh God. Send me my word. Let your, my word come this morning in the name of Jesus. That one word that will change my story forever. Oh, send it to me this morning in the name of Jesus. As we round off this morning, begin to invite the presence of God. Let the glory of God saturate the house. Let the presence of God saturate every nook and cranny of this auditorium. As the word is coming forth, testimony will be abandoned. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus as we invite the choir. Of the glory. Please, if you have testimony, go to the basement and register your testimony, and you shall be given the privilege to share. God bless you. You deserve the glory and the honor. Father, we lift our hands in worship. As we bless your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. We lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You are great. You are great. You do miracles. So great, there is no one else like you. There is none. You are great, you are great. You do miracles. So, so great, there is no one else like you. No one else like you. There is no. your voice and say you are great you are great you do miracle so great there is no one else like you no one else no one else you are great you do miracle so great there is 
there's no one else like you. No one else, no one else. There is no one else like you. You are the miracle walker. We call you miracle walker. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. You will do a miracle, a miracle, miracle walker. That's what we call you because you are the miracle walker. Come and do a miracle. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. We call you Yahweh. We call you Yahweh. You're the miracle walking. You are the miracle. We shout to the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. He's worthy. I will rejoice and be glad in him. I will rejoice and be glad. Of my voice to sing praise to the Lord, cause this is the day He has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is the day. Oh, I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord Most High. This is the day I will rejoice and be glad. How celebrate His faithfulness! I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is the day. Sing how we rejoice. I will lift up the name of the Lord High. I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is the day He has made. Things are working for me. Things are working for me. For the Lord is on the throne. Things are working for me. 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 Things are working for you. For the Lord is on the throne. Things are working for me. 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 Working for you. Things are working for us. For the Lord is on the throne. Things are working for me. Things are working for me. Things are working for me. I am moving forward. We are moving forward. We are moving forward. Sing. We are going higher, 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 higher every day. For the Lord is on the throne. We are 
going higher. We are going higher. Every day we are going higher. Higher, 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 higher. For the Lord is on the throne. We are going higher. We are going higher. We are going higher. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. It's a way where there is no way. Jehovah, Jehovah dance. He dance. He dance. He's turning your life around. He's turning. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah, Jehovah dance. He's turning. He's turning. Jehovah dance. He's turning. He's turning. He makes a way. No way, Jehovah. Say, who has the final say? In your career, who has the very final say? In your business, who has the very final say? Jehovah, dance. He's done it. He's done it. Jehovah, dance. He turns, he turns, he melts away. Jehovah, Jehovah dance. He's done it, he's done it. Jehovah dance. He melts away. Where there is no way. Jehovah, who has the final say? Hallelujah. Place you may be seated. You are welcome to the presence of the Almighty God this morning. God is going to do a quick work in your life in the name of Jesus. You are, you are going to have an encounter with the Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. Let us call ourselves to worship. Please open with me your Bible to Psalm 24, and we will read responsibly. Psalm 24. You are welcome to the covenant day of business breakthrough. No more breakdown for you in your business. If you are in Psalm 24, we will read responsibly. The earth is of the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and day that dwell therein. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, O ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. You are welcome.
It is my year of breaking limits. With great joy in our hands this morning, let's listen to the following announcement for the week. Number one, what a joy to be alive to see the first Sunday of the month of July. Are you putting your hands together for the Lord? <laughs> Hallelujah. I welcome you specially to this covenant day of business breakthrough. Every form of stagnation in your business shall be destroyed today in Jesus' name. Happy new month. Number two, we give thanks to God for the success of yesterday's district so winning our trace. All members are encouraged to follow up their new converts until they are fully established in the faith and in this church. Meanwhile, do not relent in your engagement in kingdom advancement prayers and other kingdom endeavors until your minimum seven souls are established in the faith and in the church. You shall not miss your enthronement. Number three, good news. Covenant Tower of Prayer holds in U Chapel, Goshen, and other prayer centers from Monday to Saturday. All members are encouraged to attend. Time, 5.30 a.m. daily. Number four, this Wednesday we shall wait on the Lord in a fast and gather in the evening for congregational intercession and share the Holy Communion. Come along with your new converts and invitees. Time, 6 p.m. Number five, this Saturday the WSF shall hold. Endeavor to attend with your invitees at center nearest to our homes. Time, 5 p.m. Number six, good news. Hallelujah. Next Sunday is our covenant day of fruitfulness, during which we shall be gathered to terminate every yoke of barrenness and receive the blessing of all-round fruitfulness. The Holy Communion shall be administered. Come with your baby items as points of contact for your desired area of fruitfulness. Ensure your new converts and other invitees uh, in attendance, time for service 6.30 a.m., second service 8.30 a.m., and third service 10.30 a.m. Number seven, another good news. <laughs> Hallelujah. There shall be water baptism next Sunday. All who are yet to be baptized by immersion are admonished to partake of this divine mystery next Sunday for the full access to their inheritance in Christ. Come with your change of clothing. Number nine, praise the Lord. The Word of Faith Bible Institute commences between Monday 13th and Friday 24th of July. BCC and LCC we hold at Goshen Learning Center and BCC at Massacre and Kabayi Learning Centers. All who are here to register should do so at the Youth Chapel. We are to encourage all our new converts to attend. Tuition is free for all new Converts. Number 10, visit the Dominion Bookstore to obtain books of the month and other materials that we deliver to you. The keys of financial fortune, books of the month, are uh, as displayed on the screen. Number 11, our emergency hotline for cases requiring urgent attention and prayer for divine intervention are displayed on the screen. Also, all who desire to share their miracle testimonies to carry, to call any of the numbers displayed on the screen or send in their messages through SMS, WhatsApp, uh, or email address, lfcgoshem at lfcww.org. Please adhere to the social distancing instructions of the authorities. Obey the ushers. Make sure that there is a seat in between you and you are the person sitting beside you. Also make sure that you are not sitting directly behind any other person. Jesus is Lord. Let's put our hands together for the almighty God. It is my year of breaking limits. In this service, it is testimony time. Please, the following brethren should come forward quickly to share their testimonies. Joy Anthony, Philip Gom, and Ngozi Chukuka. Ngozi Chukuka, Joy Anthony, and Philip Gom. While they are coming, please listen to the following documented testimonies. Financially stable 
after attending Goshen. Celebrate Jesus for that. I joined this commission in July 2017. Meanwhile, I was having financial challenges in my business. On discussing my challenges with my wife, she advised me to go to Goshen, and I did. In less than two months, our capital increased. Immediately after the September edition of the Week of Spiritual Emphasis of this month, a company called me to be the distributor of their products outside my field. I'm a printer, and they deal with cosmetics. After the breakthrough service on Friday, I was called yesterday that my goods have arrived. They delivered the goods worth 2.5 million without me paying a dime to their office. I return all the glory to God. The testifier is Chris. Amen. Please come. Your name and what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. Indeed, serving God peace. It happened on the... My name is Senator Philip Arua Junka. It happened on the 2nd of July. While I was waiting on God, we came for a meeting in Abuja and I was on my way to Akwanga. In between Garaku and Kefi, there was a very place that has a bad road. I was coming, I entered into the bad road. Unknowingly to me, I was trapped there. When I entered the bad road, the back, at the back, they started shooting. Both left and right, they were aiming at our vehicle. They started shooting, and when I was advanced, I told my driver to move on. And when he was advanced, those in front started shooting again. All these were targeting our, at our vehicle and our tire. Now we went, as we were going, we were hearing the bullet in the vehicle. We are hearing it raining down on the roof of the vehicle and beside the vehicle. But I managed to reach a local government called Garaku. I asked my driver to stop. When he stopped, I checked all around. There was no trace of a bullet in it. I have to give God the glory in this. Supernatural protection, celebrate Jesus for that. Praise the Lord. My name is Ngozi Chukuka. I have come to return all glory to God that says in the time of famine, he will, he will bless us. And God has done it in my life. I was privileged to serve in the creation unit where God is decorating my life. I put my property into sale since 2018. I was praying it is like God is not hearing it. But in this lockdown on Easter day, 12th of April, these people could not go home after service. They came to my place for the property. As if it is not enough. On 3rd of April, 3rd Sunday, in first service like this, our papa declared that in this lockdown, God will open your ways. Uh -uh. This thing becomes like if it is somehow to me. But after one week, on 1st of May, God blessed me with a picnic bus to support my business. I have returned to thank God for what he has done. Celebrate Jesus some more. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Joy and Sonia. I come to return all the glory to the Lord. I married since 2005, and since then, my marriage was every time problem, and my husband was a drunker. When he drink, I came home. Everything, anything that I do, he will know what he didn't like. He beat me up, say sort of things. People even advised me to leave him and go. I said, no, one day my God will answer me. And we joined this commission since 2018. Everything around us totally changed. Nine people call my husband, pastor, not a drunk again. I call to return all the glory. Drunken husband delivered. Celebrate Jesus this morning. Praise the Lord. Yes, I'm Brother Philip. Devil is a liar. Devil must be put to shame. To cut it short, I was pursued in work, in my office where I work. To the happy of the Lord, 
as of this journey of fasting come, I partake, I partake of the journey. And I seek that God must call me back. So God not touch my boss to call me back from my working place. Restored in his office after the week of emphasis. Celebrate Jesus for that. Please listen to this documented testimony. Restoration of business. I am here to return all glory to the God of this commission. I've been stagnated in my business for a while now. Meanwhile, I have never missed any of the kingdom advancement operations. Then I challenged God that I can't be serving him in vain. The following Monday, after the Sunday anointing service, someone sent the sum of 250000 to my account, and my business is back again. Praise the Lord. The testifies Terminal Meshach. Today, your business shall be restored. Celebrate Jesus. It is my year of breaking limits. Now, in a moment, we will rise up this morning to pray. And uh, we'll be praying like this. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit continue to sweep across our harvest fields all through this season, thereby drafting in unprecedented multitudes into this church. Say amen. Acts chapter 2, verse 2, and verse 6. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Verse 6. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitudes came together. The multitudes are coming together in this place. From everywhere they are coming. Rise up on your feet as we lift up our voice to pray. Father, in the name of of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit continue to sweep across our harvest field all through this season, thereby drafting in unprecedented multitudes into this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit continue to sweep across our harvest field all through this season, thereby drafting in unprecedented multitudes into this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit continue to sweep across our harvest field all through this season, thereby drafting in unprecedented multitudes into this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit continue to sweep across our vessels all through this season, thereby drafting in unprecedented multitudes into this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit continue to sweep across our harvest fields all through this season, thereby drafting in unprecedented multitudes into this church. In the name of Jesus, Makutu Baredosia, Makata Brado Sianda Baredosi, Yekoto Koroko Siaba, Akoto Brado Se, Yekoto Kiri Kalo Marumania, Ayabata Baredo Sege, Egede Gede 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 Gede, Yedo Dobobo Robo Sia, Makoto Brado Siaba, Malaba Hika Kote Bede, Yezuzuaro Mania, Makoto. Come and lift up your hand and give him thanks. He has had us this morning. Multitudes are gathering into Goshen by the sweeping power of the Holy Ghost all through this prophetic season. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please have your seat. It's my year of breaking limits. Congratulations. It's now time for the congregation, your congregational hymn, Showers of Blessing. Rise to your feet as the choir leads us. Please rise to your feet, choir.
please let's take our seats. It is my year of breaking limits. It's my privilege this morning to read to us the prophetic theme for the month of July 2020 via an epistle from the Apostle over this commission, the Bishop Dr. David Oyedepo. Breaking limits greeting in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe God has empowered every one of us for profitable stewardship all through the month of June, which must have launched each one into the realm of open reward in our stewardship. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, there shall be no more wasted labor in all our kingdom advancement endeavor anymore all through life. Amen. Please be reminded that the ongoing midst of the year continues up until July 26, 2020, and we should all expect our turnaround as we engage. But what is the Holy Ghost saying for the month of July 2020? The last days, according to biblical prophecy, shall be days of earth-shaking move of God that shall lead multitudes to salvation. But this divine agenda will require heavy financial resources for delivery. This is why God is all out to empower his people for supernatural wealth in these last days so they can become channels for the release of his silver and gold ordained for building the latter house. The primary purpose for the rise of financial giants in the body of Christ is for spreading the gospel to all tribes and tongues across the nations of the earth before Jesus returns. When God was set to build a temple in Jerusalem, he had to empower Solomon for wealth so as to accomplish this prophetic agenda. But I believe that Solomon did not know why God entrusted him with that strange dimension of wealth, so he built one temple for God and 700 shrines for the gods and goddesses of his strange wives. As a result, we saw how God turned his back on him. That is why our understanding the purpose of financial fortune in the kingdom is vital to determining our level of access to this realm of supernatural prosperity in these last days. But the beauty of the covenant of wealth is that we can start from where we are because God's commandments are not grievous. In the light of the above, all through this month of July, God shall be unveiling to us the secret of supernatural prosperity towards operating in the breaking limit order of financial fortune for promoting his kingdom all through the days of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, the prophetic focus for the month of July 2020 is financial fortune is my heritage in Christ. Can I hear somebody echo that one too? Let's go. Isaiah 51, verse 1 to 3 is the scriptural text for that. Recommended books of the month authored by God's servant include Understanding Financial Prosperity, Breaking Financial Hardship, Winning the War Against Poverty, Hidden Covenant of Blessings, and Covenant Wealth. Remain ever blessed. Jesus is Lord, Bishop David O. Oyedepo. Put your hands together for Jesus. It is my year of breaking limit. It is my pleasure to welcome some special people to this great service. If you know this is your very first time in stepping to Living Faith Church, Goshen, your very first service here with us, you are stepping here for the first time, please may I request that you rise up on your feet. Praise God. On behalf of the bishop and the leadership of this great 
assembly, I would like to especially welcome you to Living Faith Church, also known as Winners Chapel, Goshen Branch. This is where God lives and visits other places. You have come. I'd like to reassure you that this is called the home of science and wonders. Not just by name, but by proof. From this hour, your life will begin to reflect the liberation unction that is upon this commission in the name of Jesus. Also, I'd like you to know that we have every Sunday three power park service, 6.30 a.m., 8.30 a.m., and 10.30 a.m. And on Wednesday, we wait upon the Lord in the fast, five, uh, 6 p.m., we return back to the sanctuary to receive the word of God and partake of the communion table. As we make it a day with Jesus in all our services, your life will never remain the same. On Saturday, we also have our WSF dotted around the cities and towns closer to you. Ensure you locate one and be part of it. And the Lord blessing will increase on your life. I also want all the winners around them to stretch forth their hand and bless them with the blessing of the house this morning. Receive them into our food. Pour for the blessing. Pour for the blessing upon them. In Jesus' mighty name. Please, there is some first timer parcel handed over to you. Inside the parcel is a sleeve. Locate that sleeve. We want to have your bio data so that we can follow you up spiritually, so that we can know and send messages to you from the bishop. You will be receiving text messages and prayers. So I'd like you to feed that form. And if you have prayer requests, there is a column for prayer requests. Ensure you put your request there. I can assure you that before the week is over, the bishop and his team of pastors will be praying over it and it shall turn for you for your testimonies. Also ensure you fill it and hand over to the officials just close by you, wherever you are seated. The Lord bless you. Please have your seat in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Is my ear breaking limit? Amen. It's time also to put together our offering, our tithe, and labor them appropriately as we give to the Lord this morning. Let's take note. Financial fortune is our heritage in Christ, but giving is the anchor law to be a partaker of what God is doing in terms of financial fortune. And I know no one shall be excluded. Let's also take note of 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 7. This is a church diligent in stewardship and so many other things. But look at the admonition of the scripture. Therefore, as you abound in everything in faith, and all terrence, and knowledge, and in all diligence, and in your love to all, see that you are bound in this grace also. Which grace? Giving grace. That is, don't just say, well, I'm a soul winner, and that's my area. I bound also in giving. You cannot overrule giving by any other standard. And in this kingdom, all things work together for good. So, as you win soul, as you pray kingdom advancement prayer, be sure that you are also giving according to the covenant. And for every giver this morning, my God, the God of this great commission, he will face it through with financial breakthrough. Shall we stand on our feet, lift up those offerings before the Lord, worship the Lord. Just in a few seconds. Lord, out of the abundance you have given to me, I have brought this little. I accept it, my God. Receive it from my hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever this money is proceeding from, my God, before the end of this month, will make it to become a seed that never get dry. Yeah. Be blessed. 
in Jesus' holy name. Shout a most believing name. Amen. Please have your seed, cast your seed cheerfully as the choir minister. God bless you.
Hallelujah. Somebody rejoice in the Lord this morning. Come on, you can make it louder. You can make it stronger. Rejoice in Him. Rejoice in Him. Rejoice in Him. Make a joyful noise, all ye land. Shout on the God with a voice of triumph. With a voice of triumph. Glory to God forevermore. Please join me again. Let's give glory to God. The last six months, he kept you as the apple of his eye. And now you are in the new month. He brought you into the new month. You didn't bring yourself into it. He brought you into it to do you good from the depth of your heart. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Anything that starts with thanksgiving will always end well. Thank him for this new month. Thank him for this second half of the year that is just beginning. Somebody raise your voice forcefully. Thank him. Don't you worry about what happened the past seven, six months. Thank him for the seventh month. Thank him loudly. Thank him victoriously. Thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you. Blessed be God. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Somebody shout it loud. Amen. Amen. The Lord asked me to tell you, don't look back. Don't look back. Let me tell your neighbor, don't look back. You know why God didn't put your eyes at the back of your head because you have no business at the back. No business at the back. Your business is in the front. The children of Israel were at the Red Sea before the Red Sea and the storm was raging, the sea was threatening and the Lord told Moses, tell my people to go forward. Exodus 14, 14, 15, Tell my people to go forward. The Lord shall fight for you. You shall hold your peace. The Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore cry thou to me? Why are you recalling the past? Why are you saying, you see what happened in January to June? Nothing good happened. COVID-19 didn't let anything happen. He said, speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Did they go forward or not? Now, begin to declare, I'm going forward. I'm going forward in the month of July all through the end of, of December 2020. I'm going forward. I'm not looking back. I'm going forward. I'm going forward. Everything is working for me. I'm going forward. My future is very bright. July, very wonderful. July, very great. I welcome July. My month of going forward, my month of, of perfection. I welcome July. Everything is working for me. Glory to God forevermore. Somebody make your declaration right now. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God forevermore. Now, please lift up your two hands. In the month of July, you are going forward. In the month of July, you will forget all your past failure. In the month of July, everything will work for you with speed. The month of July shall be the month of recovery from all that you ever miss or lost. Amazing surprises are coming your way this month. At the close of this month, you will look back and call it everything is perfected for me. This, your hands are blessed this month. Blessed beyond measures. Blessed with prosperity. Blessed with pleasures. Job 36, 11 shall be mightily fulfilled in your life this month. 
you will spend your days in prosperity this month. The entire month shall be spent in pleasures. No danger around you. No accident for you. No evil befall you. No plague come near your dwelling. All you lay your hands on to do shall prosper. No miscarriage for a pregnant woman this month. In the name of Jesus. No steel bath for any pregnant woman this month. No death of infants this month. Every woman that goes into the delivery room shall return with a smile on their faces. We will hear the cry of the baby and see the smile on the mothers. In Jesus' precious name. Every robbery attack or kidnapping around you and everybody close to you is halted this month. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. I call you blessed. Blessed in your storehouse. Blessed in your basket. Where others are begging, you'll be giving. Abundance will flow in your direction. Somebody raise your voice. Pray in the Holy Ghost now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. This midst of the year, you will see wonders. Pray in the Holy Ghost. This midst of the year, you will see wonders. You will see wonders. You will see wonders. Wonders beyond description. Wonders beyond measure. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Every prophecy of the midst of the year, the mountains level, the perpetual hills taken out of the way, shall be your son this month. In Jesus' wonderful name, so shall it be. Amen. Are you glad you entered into this new month? Glory to God. Please get seated to your right, to your left, turn and tell your neighbors, happy new month. Happy new month. Happy, happy new month. It shall be well with you. I'm waiting to hear your testimony. Testimony of going forward. Tell my people to go forward. Tell my people to go forward. In Jesus' precious name. Where are you going this month? If you can, I want you to write it down. It's a word of prophecy. That word came to me only when I stood up here. It said, tell my people not to look back again. Tell them not to start recounting, but tell them to be, you know, progressive. Tell them not to recount. Tell them to be proclaiming the things that will happen. I can't wait. Your testimony shall be numerous this month. Everybody who waited on the Lord in the three days of prayer and fasting, your season of renewal is here. We call it week of spiritual emphasis. Now your spiritual energy is renewed. Everyone who went on outreach, bringing souls to the kingdom of God, you will not miss your reward. I say you will not miss your reward. In Jesus' wonderful name. Last Sunday, despite the rain that came first and second service, as many of us are aware, God brought in our converts with their invitees. 211 of them came to church last Sunday. 211 of them. Please keep at it. Your own converts will come to church as well. In Jesus' wonderful name. It is my year of breaking limits. You are welcome in today's prophetic service, which is also our covenant day of business breakthrough. It will answer in your life today. You are told to come with your business contacts. If you have yours, put it on the floor around you where it will not disturb anybody. Put it there. Because this is a breakthrough ground. What you contact is what you reflect. You cannot be around fire and not smell smoke. You cannot be around this ground and still be failing in your business. 
every breakthrough unction that is on this ground will go home with you. It's a prophetic service, be saying aloud, amen. I say every breakthrough anointing on this ground that has not allowed this ministry to be stagnated once will go home with you today. This ministry has never known a better yesterday. No matter the pandemic or the epidemic or whatever, beginning from now, forward ever for you. Backward never for you. A little while ago, the prophetic theme for the month was declared as delivered to God's servant and communicated to us that financial fortune is my heritage in Christ. Will you join me? Say that right now. Whose heritage is it? Are you sure? Will you proclaim it now? What you don't proclaim, you cannot claim. Do you want to claim it? Proclaim it now. So shall it be for you. Isaiah 51 verses 1 to 3 is our text for this thing. The teaching series every Sunday is captioned, Gateways to Financial Fortune. Gateways to Financial Fortune. And the text for this series, which will begin with part 1a this morning, is 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound in whose direction? Towards you. That you, 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 always, not sometimes, not occasionally, having all sufficiency. This is the description of the fortune. In all things, not in some things, all things. Please note, our covenant father, Abraham, was blessed in all things. In all things, may abound to every good work. Look at that. He will give you all things so you can do more works, so you can bless more people. That is the bottom line that you may abound to every good work. Fortune is for good works. Don't pray for more fortune. Line up the good works you want to do. Your intention is what determines the outflow. Your intention. Or rather, your intention is what determines the inflow from heaven. God always make inflow for your desired outflow. If it will not flow from you, it will not flow from God. And God wants to bless you with all sufficiency. Genesis 24 verse 1, And the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. The Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. Another Abraham is rising up here. That Abraham has already answered here. A passionate pursuit of God and the interest of his kingdom is key to a world of supernatural abundance. Are you thinking of the kingdom? Then you will not need to beg for money. God does not listen to your prayer except it is in harmony with your thoughts. There are many who pray but their thoughts is a betrayal to their prayer. Thinking kingdom, thinking kingdom. Simply put, thinking for how to help people to 
with transportation to come to church, for instance. That was the thought that motivated my wife and I to buy buses for church use. A few years ago, our church in my hometown came to me and said, please buy a bus for us. And I told them, please just relax first. So many things on my hand. And something told me, why don't you even ask how much they are selling the bus? So I sent somebody to find out, how much is this bus? And then the seller asked the person I sent, whom I've never met before, who wants the bus? And when he mentioned my name, he said, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You don't need to pay anything, just take it. Why? Wow. It was in my heart. It was in my intention. And so God put it in my hand. Be thinking the kingdom. Be thinking the kingdom. One Sunday, there was need to make funds available for transportation. I told our people, by the grace of God, I will take care of it. How much was it? Small money. For that day, a little, over one million. I said, I will take care of it. The same week, God gave me seven times. Seven times. Think kingdom. Think kingdom. As we are told during offering collection, you need to abound in this grace. Prayer warrior. Oh God, yes. Oh God, bind the devil. God say, I've heard. But what about your pocket? Abound in this grace also. I'm sharing this testimony so that you can know how we climb to where we are. One of the things that inspired me to do the transportation, for instance, I had God's servant, Bishop Oedobo, say, for one year, one whole year, himself and his wife paid for transportation for members every Sunday, 52 weeks. Send the bill to me. Send the bill to me. People who talk about Oedobo's prosperity, castigating it, are blind. Because they don't know what he does with the resources in promoting the kingdom of God. If you do, you will pray that God will give him more. Pursuit of the kingdom. Let your heart beat be God, 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 church, God, church, God, church. This is the only church? Yes, it's only church. Only church. That is my dream. And this thing is paying me. It will pay you as well. God will only entrust true riches into the hands of those he can trust. Can God trust you? If he gives you five million now, will you be in church next Sunday? Will you not travel from Benue to okay, the plateau to Taraba and then cross to Lagos from there? They say, won't you be in church? They say, God understand, God understand, God understand, God understand. That is the time God understand. Won't you go and marry a second wife? Buy new gold in your hand? If all you are thinking is new dress for prosperity, forget it. You won't get it. We are not, we are not merchandising here. We're talking about kingdom business. Luke 16, 11. If you are not faithful in that which is another, I mean, if you are not faithful in unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? True. You see, something about God is that God will test you before he will trust you. He will test you before he will trust you. He will test you before he will trust you. If you cannot be trusted, then you cannot be entrusted. Now, God is a God of ways. That's why we're talking about gateways to financial. If you know his ways, you will manifest his act. Psalm 103, verse 7. What is a covenant? 
God's prosperity plan is not a promise, but a covenant. A covenant. Covenant means, in a simpler way, agreement. Divine agreement. And every agreement has what you do and what the other person does or other members of the party. That is to say you cannot pray to claim it as a promise. There is something you have to do for God to do what you cannot do. That's the meaning of covenant. Two people come together and they agree. You do this and I do this. You stop doing this, I stop doing that. It's a covenant. Do your part, you will do his own part. Until you play your part, God's integrity cannot be committed to perform his own part. Noah gave the best. God smelled it and returned back to him. Therefore, as long as he had remained, seed time from you must precede harvest time from God. Don't pray for harvest. Focus on the seed sowing. Sow your seed. He knows what to do. Philippians 4, 15, 19. 19 says, God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. But 14 or 15 begins by telling us the need to communicate concerning giving and receiving. Many are claiming verse 19, but they are not doing verse 15. You have no right to claim verse 19 if you are not a doer of verse 15. You have no right to do that. Covenant doesn't work by claiming. Covenant works by practice. Deuteronomy 8, 18. Thou shalt remember the Lord your God. Remember him for what? Remember to do your part. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which is well to your fathers. So the covenant is never established except you remember the Lord your God in giving to him what belongs to him. Stop blaming God that you are not prosperous, start querying yourself. Start querying your giving. Start querying your giving. Start querying your giving. That's what the covenant is all about. And you're interested to know that the covenant is superior to all prevailing economic situations and circumstances. Somebody says, you see, the reason why I don't have anything is because of COVID-19. It's a waste of explanation. Waste of explanation. I checked my record yesterday and I discovered that the blessing of God upon me January to June this year is far ahead of the same period in 2019 when there was no COVID. It's not circumstances that determines our blessing. Circumstances may affect your salary, but it cannot affect your prosperity. Where am I getting my blessing from? From the covenant. From the covenant. I have come to a point of understanding that even if there is no food in the market to buy, I will still be eating fat and fresh. How? The covenant keeps working. It will work for you. There is nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10. Our covenant fathers and scriptures went through economic challenges triumphantly. Psalm 33 verses 18 to 17. Psalm 33, 18 to 19. Behold, the high of the Lord is upon them that fear him 
And who prove that their fear by obeying God? Because obedience is the proof of the fear of God. Upon them that hope in his mercy. I don't hope in the government. I hope in the mercy of God. To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Others may die. You will remain alive. Abraham went through a time of famine. Genesis chapter 12 verse 10. And there was famine in the land. And Abraham went down into Egypt to sojourn there. Because the famine was grievous in the land. But look at chapter 13 verse 2. The famine was grievous in the land. But in chapter 13, and Abraham was very rich. In cattle, in silver, and in gold. Famine in the land. But Abraham was very rich. Famine in Nigeria, but you, very rich. Famine is only an information to you, but riches is yours to claim. No economic situation will tamper with your prosperity. Look at Isaac. Genesis 26, verse 1. There was famine in the land. Beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. Can you see? It, is, it happens from time to time. Recession. Economic recession. Somebody said the nation is going through economic recession. That is the nation. Darkness shall cover the heart and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon you. And in verse 12 to 14, Abraham sowed in the land. And in the time of famine, it was showing. In the time of famine, it was my offering has not reduced once. I have rather escalated it. The worst time to stop giving is when you don't have enough. The best time to give is when it is not enough. People ration their giving according to the times and season. You know, you have to be very wise. Deals on you know you have to plan what you give. I don't plan what I give, I give what he commands, and he has never failed, and for you he will never fail. I hope this teaching is not getting too hard for you this morning. If it is not, say loud amen. Any preacher that tells you what is convenient for you is not sent by God. So I'm telling you right now the things that may not be attractive to your hearing, but if you do it, whatever he tells you to do, do it. And you will see what he has promised. Without a shift of action, there can never be the next level. Shift of action. If you want to assume next level. So Isaac. In one year. Was blessed. And the blessing. Overtook the blessing of the land. And the man was great. And went forward. And grew until he became very great. When? In the time of famine. In the time of famine, please lift up your hand. When others are begging, you'll be given. When others are weeping, you'll be helping them out. In the time of lockdown, my wife and I were privileged to give not less than 120 bags of rice. Apart from people who knew I would distribute and were passing them through me. We have different packages in not less than 2,500 bags that were given to people. Not one bag entered my house. Give to other churches, give to pastors, pastors in hundreds of numbers. In the time of famine, Jacob was very rich. Genesis 42, verses 1 and 2. Famine in the time of Abraham. Famine in the time of Isaac. Famine in the time of Jacob. 
all covenant people go through the time of famine without affecting them. And when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said to his sons, why do you look upon one another? Verse 2, and behold, I heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get down there and buy for us. Covenant people, we always have what it takes to buy that you may live and not die. Genesis 43 verse 1, you find the same thing there. So, covenant practice empowers believers to prevail in hard time. To prevail, you shall prevail. I didn't hear your amen. Yeah. To prevail, covenant practice empowers believers to prevail in hard times. Malachi chapter 3, verses 10 to 18. Bring your offering. Bring your tithe into the storehouse. Bring your tithe to the storehouse. Don't look at it and you are counting. Many people deceive themselves. They take calculator to calculate their tithe. How Why are you deceiving yourself? One tenth is the tithe. You don't need calculator for that. When it is time to receive from somebody, your brain is very sharp. But when it is time to pay your tithe, you are pressing the calculator hoping that it will give you a wrong figure. <laughs> or give you a different figure rather. Chapter 4 of Malachi, verses 1 to 4. He said, you shall go up and grow up. Behold, the day is coming that it shall burn like over. But the practice in chapter 3 will bail you out. The, the practice in chapter 3 is what brings about the fulfillment of chapter 4. Look at verse 2. But unto you that fear my name and obey the instruction, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wing. You shall go forth and grow up as cows of the storm. They are going down, you are growing up. They are going backward, you are going forward. Your bank account will never see red. Your storehouse will never suffer emptiness. Now, in the light of this, quickly, what are the required covenant practices for working in financial fortune? We'll look at two quickly this morning. Number one is tithing, tithing, and kingdom advancement sacrifice. Malachi 3, 6 to 11. Tithe. What is tithe? One-tenth of your income. One-tenth of your income. If you can't give one-tenth of your income, when will you give two tenth? When will you give five tenth? When will you give seven over ten? And yet you are having more than enough. A number of us have crossed to more than 50% of our income going back to the Lord and to people and to the kingdom, to people who are hungry, to the kingdom of God for this advancement. You can't give one tenth. When will you give two tenths? You are waiting for appeal all the time. Ask yourself the question now. Did you pay your tithe last month? Are you not complaining about COVID-19? What is COVID-19? What is COVID-19? You see, you know the economic situation. What economic situation? Do you know that every excuse excludes you? Make excuse, get excluded. Agai chapter 1, verses 3 to 10. Make sacrifice. Make sacrifice. Give painful offering. The offering that will pain you. That's what we call sacrifice. Number two, giving to your parents. Giving to your parents. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. Honor your father and your mother that it may be well with you. It is the first commandment with promise. Every other co commandment didn't come with promise, but that one came with promise. What's the promise? That it may be well with you. When last did you give to your mama and your papa in the village? When they call you, don't you pretend as if you don't see the call? Don't you complain, am I the only one? Every time, every time, every time, every time. They, 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 they want to buy food. It's me that we call it. They, they, want to, they, want to, they, they want to build up. It's me that we call it. Who are you calling when you are picking? Now, who you they call when you they picking? Not your mama you they call. Not your papa you they call. 
Your papa will no feel by dress because of your school fees. In they call you now, you they pretend as if you know here now. That it may be well with you. I started giving to my parents when I was 12 years old. Not because they lacked, but because I had. And every year, I review what I give to them. Every year. My parents, my wife's parents, every year there must be something on top. I don't joke with it. That it may be well with you. That's why it is well with me. I don't pray against witches and wizards. Their prayer is enough. When they get the monthly pack, oh Lord, bless him. Watch over him. Any devil that comes away, out his way, kill them. Kill them. I want this thing next month. So kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Amen. Not only to my parents, but other related parents. One old man sent a message to me. He said, just tell him when he wakes up, let him just be saying amen. 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 So when I wake up, amen. 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 <laughs> because somebody who has my seed in his hand is praying for me. That it may go with you, than that you may live long. That you may live long. Many destinies are cut short because of dishonor for their parents. Believe me, if you watch the roof of your parents' house leaking, when you are living under flushy and flashy house, you are shame. Complete shame. I don't care who you are. They wake up in the night shifting their bed because, because the roof is leaking. And here you are, remote, everything is remoted. Remote control, AC, remote control, music, remote control, car, remote control, everything. We live in a generation where people don't have heart again. They don't have heart. That's why it is not well with them. That's where their journey is cut short. Is it me who says so? Is the word. Do you believe the Bible? Go and do it. Covenant doesn't answer to claiming or praying. It answers to practice. Now, lift up your hand. Receive grace for practice. Receive grace to engage in practice. Receive grace to engage in practice. In Jesus' precious name. Now, today I decree business breakthroughs for you. What are the biblical keys to business breakthroughs? Number one and foremost, you must be born again to belong to the breakthrough family of Christ. The family of Christ. Ephesians 2.20 is a family of breakthrough. It's a family of breakthrough. When we come into the kingdom of God, we come into the family of God. And God does not break down, he only breaks through. When you come to the kingdom of God, you become the light of this world, a pace setter. Matthew 5, 14, light to shine. You become a reference point, set upon the hill which cannot be hid. Our covenant father, Isaac, had breakthrough. We said that earlier on. And in Galatians chapter 4, verse 27, Galatians 4, 27, we are told that we are, verse 28, we are, as Isaac was, children of promise. Whatever happened to Isaac is the least that will happen to you. Because in greater than Solomon is here. In this last day, supernatural breakthrough shall be the core identity of every child of God. It will be your core identity. Breakthrough. Breaking down in their midst. Breaking through for you. It will be your identity. 
Psalm 110, verses 1 and 2. Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 and 3. Verses 1 to 3. Psalm 87, verses 1 to 7. When the count is on, you will be referred to that you are among them. You are there. You are there. You are there. Somebody say loud, amen. If you are not born again, it is a mandate. Jesus said, you must be born again. You must be born again. I don't care who you are. And Jesus' hand of mercy is receiving you. You must be born again. But every breakthrough in the kingdom is rooted in what encounter? Secure the word in order to procure your breakthrough. Everywhere the word goes, breakthrough follows. Jesus began to teach and people prayed for the word. Luke 5.1 And it resulted into the breakthrough experience of Peter. Why? The word of God is as hammer. Jeremiah 23, 29. Is not my word as fire, like as of a fire, said the Lord. And like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Breaketh the rock in pieces. That's what the word of God He breaks you through. Word through is what results into breakthrough. Get through with the word and you will experience your breakthrough in business. The word. The word. For the word of God is quick and sharper than any treasure's word. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. Now, in the light of this, as we begin to round up, to command breakthrough in business, what must you do? What must you do? Number one, you must continue to walk in the fear of God. The fear of God. Do you fear God? What does it mean to fear God? Number one, it means to obey God. After Abraham obeyed God, you know what God said? Now I know you fear me. Obeying God is number one proof. Is the capital proof of our fear of God. What does it mean to fear God again? Proverbs 8, I think 12 or 14, the fear of God is to depart from iniquity, to depart, to separate yourself from evil things, stealing, lying, bribing people. Verse 13, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. If you love evil, you hate God. If you love God, you hate evil. Pride, arrogance, evil way, stealing, lying, corner corner business, here and there, 419. Social media, you know, stealing. You don't fear God. The fear of the Lord. Psalm 112, verses 1 and 2. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. He shall guide his affairs with discretion. Our covenant fathers fear the Lord. Abraham feared God. He said, I will not touch what is not mine. Jacob feared God. He said, my righteousness will speak for me. They walked in the fear of God. They didn't touch what did not belong to them. They put money in the mouth of the sack of the food brought from Egypt to Jacob. Jacob said, no, this is not our money. We will send it back. We will send it back. It's not our money. We will send it back. My biological father told me a story a few weeks ago. He's a man that fear God. He's born again. He said when he was young, about 20, about the time that he gave his life to Jesus, somebody lost his money. They were working together. The man lost the money. An elderly man, and he was crying. How will I go home? My money is lost. Meanwhile, my old man said he saw the money and picked it. When he got among his friends, his friend said, don't tell anybody. Keep the money. He said, how can I do this evil thing? And he gave back the man his money. Stop crying. This is your money. 
And according to him, the man opened his mouth and began to bless him. And to bless. There is no future for crookedness. You cheat today, your children will pay for it. Don't touch what is not yours. You are a driver. Don't put the fuel money in your pocket. It begins with that as simple as it is. They send you on an assignment as a civil servant and you are building up, building up bills. I stayed in this hotel. I used this telephone money. I, I did this. Oh, I did that. I shot it. Yeah. They give you 500,000. You have sold out your destiny. What prospers is not what you steal. It's what God gives. The fear of the Lord. Number two, we must continue to seek first the advancement of the kingdom of God. We have said a lot about that. Keep seeking the advancement of the kingdom of Matthew 6, 33. 2 Chronicles chapter 26, verse 5. 2 Chronicles 26, 5. This is very crucial. As long as he saw the Lord, the Lord made him to prosper. He sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God, whom he sought, made him to prosper. Are you seeking God or seeking money? Which of your prayer is uppermost? Prayer for souls to be saved or prayer for you to have business breakthrough? Some people even say, what are the pastors there for? Are they not to be winning souls? They should just pray for us and we go. Pray for us. What is, you know, soul winning is called there for? What is evangelism team? Are they not the one to be winning souls? Oh God, pray for us, make we go. Pray for us, make we go. <laughs> we are not talking about soul winning because we are preachers. I have been a soul winner since 1978. I got saved 77. I start winning souls 78. No sign of ministry. As a matter of fact, no color around my life. Number three, we must be connected to the covenant of personal and business titan to keep heaven, our heaven open over our business. We have talked about titan. You can take note of the scriptures there. Leviticus 11.30. The tithe belongs to the Lord. Genesis 20, 19 to, um, to 20. We saw how Abraham tithe and God blessed him. Number four. We must be committed to kingdom advancement sacrifices. That also has been mentioned. Make sacrifices. Do Philippians 4.15. And God will do Philippians 4.19. Number four. Joy and rejoicing must not be far from you. In the pursuit of your business. Including kingdom advancement in the house. The harvest of many businesses have been destroyed for lack of joy. Joel chapter 1, verses 11, verse 12. Although the fig tree does not blossom, there may no be divine, I will rejoice in the Lord. Don't look at the happenings. Rejoice in the Lord. Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice. Wake up every day singing. There is hardly any day without me singing when I wake up. Sing your song. Get excited. Stop looking at your pocket. Look up to God. Look up to God. Not to your pocket. Not to your bank account. Look up to God. Somebody say amen. Deuteronomy 28, verse 7 to 49. 47 to 48. Because you serve not the Lord your God with gladness and joyfulness of heart, you will serve your enemies. He has blessed you. He wants you to praise him with abundance of all things. Number five. We must recognize that everything multiplies with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a yeast for business breakthrough. It's a yeast for business breakthrough. Get to your shop. Father, thank you for this bright day. Not, oh, yesterday I didn't say. Last week I didn't say. I don't know what will happen today. Give thanks to him that you woke up. Give thanks to him. You raise your leg. Your leg answered. Give thanks to him. You open your mouth. Your voice system manifested. Give thanks to him. Jesus gave thanks to God for five loaves and two pieces of fishes and then he became what to feed 5,000 people. Beware of murmuring. It can kill. 
Numbers 11, 1. God destroyed the murmurers. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10. They were destroyed by the destroyer for murmuring. Number six, be divinely guided. Not everything that glitters is gold. Not every condition that looks great is safe. Be guided. Isaac was guided by the Lord. He wanted to go to a place. God told him, don't go there. It may look colorful and attractive, but inside it is poison. You will not go the way of poison. <laughs> Proverbs 16, 25, there's a way that's made right unto man, but the end thereof is destruction. John 21, verse 5 and 6, they were fishing in a wrong spot. Jesus told them, cast your net to the right side. There is the right side to everything. If you have been on the wrong side of business, God will direct you to the right side. Raise your hand and shout aloud, amen. amen. Isaiah 48, verse 17. I'm the Lord your God that leadeth thee in the way to go. That leadeth thee by the way that you will make profit. He teaches us to make profit in business. And in verse 21, they tasted not when he led them. God's leading leads to buoyancy and abundance, not to task and emptiness. Number seven, be faithful. If your business is 100,000 today, faithfully handle it. It will soon become one million. If it is a kiosk you are running today, or maybe a table, you are selling on table, it will soon grow to kiosk if you are faithful. From kiosk, it will go to small shop if you are faithful. From shop, it will go to store if you are faithful. From store, it will go to warehouse. Be faithful. I started pastoring the church of four people, but faithfully so. I so pastor them that they know that I pastor them. Faithful. Don't beg for more. Be faithful with the little you have. Trade what you have faithfully. You are in business. You know what time you woke up? 10 a.m. When others have woken up 7 a.m. If you are not faithful, you cannot be fruitful. Number eight, walk diligently. Be diligent because God will bless only what you lay your hands on to do. Deuteronomy 28, verses 8 and 12. It will bless the work of your hand. It will bless the work of your hand. Whatever your hand finds to do, do. Let your hand find something. All of you who are looking for white collar job, look for something else to do. Do what you find until you find what you like. Do what you find until you find what you like. When I finished my youth service, there was no job. I went into farming. I went into roadside mechanic. Roadside mechanic. Forgot that I was a graduate. Put aside my certificate because certificate will not give you food. Amen. Do what you find until you find what you like. Let no young man in this church wake up doing nothing. Moving around Massacre area, moving around Kuchikau, moving around from place to place. They find you there with comb in your pocket, your hair, you no know, condition, very wonderful. Your trousers falling down because you are lazy. You don't see a, a hard-working person wearing lazy trousers. Walk. Say with me, I will walk. See as that man really ends his business, that man will stand before kings and not before me men. And finally, we must connect with priestly blessing. Priestly blessing. Listen to me. The priests among you, the pastors among you, under our prophet, are there to bless you. That's why I always beg you, don't leave the church until you receive priestly and prophetic blessing. I'm not joking about what I'm talking about. It is the blessing we proclaim on you that goes ahead of you into the week. So you get to places they are calling you. Your telephone, they are calling you. Why? Because the priest over your life has proclaimed the blessing. And I'll be doing that again this morning. None of you will beg. You shall prosper. Priestly blessing. Because God confirms the word of his servant and performs the counsel of his messenger. It is priestly blessing that prospered Abraham. Genesis 14, 19, 20. And Melchizedek blessed him. Blessed him. Blessed be Abraham, the most high of God. Blessed. Blessed. And he blessed him. And this morning, as a priest in the house, I bless you. 
I cancel every satanic opposition to your businesses. Every barrier on your way is canceled right now. Wherever your money is, I command that they flow to you this week. Raise your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Get seated. Now, back to where we began from. If you are not born again, you cannot rise again. What does it mean to be born again? It means to acknowledge that you are a sinner. Your helplessness. Your being downcast. And calling for the help of God. Jesus, save me. Jesus, have mercy on me. I'm tired of my sin. I'm tired of my waywardness. I am tired of this struggle. I am tired of this sweat. I need help. And I know there are many people here this morning who are in that condition. The good news is this. Jesus said, Whoso, the Bible says, whosoever that shall call upon the name of the Lord, whosoever, drunkard, harlot, whosoever, downcast, hopeless, whosoever, whosoever, including you, shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Let all who desire the salvation of the Lord to be born again, rise to your feet right now. No hesitation, no delay. You know yourself. You know your struggle. I know you will not be an hypocrite. I know you'll be sincere this morning. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. There are others this morning. You gave your life to Jesus before, but you are backsliding. You are backsliding. And you know it. You are a backslider. There is no point arguing. You know you are a backslider. You no longer pray. You no longer study the word. They beg you to come to church. You know where your heart is right now. It's no longer with God. Return back home like the prodigal son. Stand to your feet. Everybody in this condition. And take your Bible and whatever you came to church with, start coming to the altar here right now. Come and meet with God, not with the pastor. Come and meet with God. I'm only an instrument that God is using to call you. I'm not the one calling you. Jesus is calling you. You mean Jesus will call you and you'll be seated? Stand up right now. Answer the call of your master. Answer the call of your savior. Answer the call of your creator. Anywhere you are, on the ground floor, on the gallery, come quickly. Young men, I thought you are running down. I thought, young man, are you run down, run down. Show you are a young man. Run down here. Help me clap for them, they are coming. 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 They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. Clap for them, they are coming. Clap for them, they are coming. More people are coming. Satan, you can't hold anybody down here. Today is your day of salvation. Don't say later. Later may be late. Now listen to me. I called a young man. I sent for him to come to church. He was my convert. He backslid. I said, come to church. He didn't come. He said, I will come next time. Before next time, the gang of occultists went and butchered his head. Don't say later. You are not the owner of later. Some of you are hearing me right now. You are sitting. You are very tight in your sitting. You are saying, nobody can get me to stand up. I'm not going. I'm not going. You must come, you must come. You must come. I say you must come. If you are like that, because I see not less than 15 more people who need to be here. If you are one of them, stand up right now. You must come. Satan has no power over you to hold you down. Yes, they are coming. They are already standing up. They are already standing up. You must come. I say you must come. Jesus said you must be born again. It is a directive from the Lord. It's not an appeal to you. You must be born again. I can't stop shouting because I don't want to see you in hell. I want to see you in heaven. I can't stop shouting. You are wondering, why, what is his business? Why is he shouting like that? I'm shouting because I want it well with you. You know how you are struggling. Stand up right now. If you are with a friend, tell your friend, let's go. Come together with Jesus. Come together to Jesus. Now, more people are coming. Clap your hands some more, church. Clap your hands. Thank you, Lord. Now, all of you with me in front here, lift up your right hand. Bow your head to the Lord. Close your eyes and pray this prayer. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Make it louder. Lord Jesus, please have mercy on me. I don't want to live as a sinner again. I want to be saved. I want to be born again. Wash my sins away. 
make me your child from today I surrender my life to you be my Lord be my Savior write my name in the book of life give me power to follow you all the days of my life Jesus I receive your salvation I receive your joy and peace thank you for saving me I am now born again in Jesus wonderful name amen Father, save these souls and save them eternally in Jesus' name. Are you happy you pray this prayer? Open your eyes and say with me, I am now born again. God bless you mightily. Please allow our church officials to help me to talk to you briefly before you leave the premises. So from the middle to my right, please go this way. And on the other side, go this way. Clap your hands for the Lord, church. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, I thought the church is excited this morning. Jesus is winning, Satan is losing. Jesus is winning, Satan is losing. Jesus is winning, Satan is losing. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Every one of you engaging in soul winning, the Lord bless you more and more. You are going to get your rewards in Jesus' name. If you are watching us out there on any platform, you gave your life to Jesus, please follow the instruction on the screen. Send a message to us. Just put, yes, Jesus, with your name and the city or the town where you are on all the telephone numbers available there, including email address and uh, WhatsApp, all of it is there. Please make sure you respond. I will be glad to receive your message and to pray for you in Jesus' precious name. Every one of you, so winners, the target is before the end of July, minimum seven souls must be established through you. Somebody who agree with me, say amen. You will do it. I say you will do it. You will do it. And as you do so, everlasting mountain will be leveled. Perpetual hills will be leveled. And your song shall be Habakkuk 3, 17 to 19. You will find yourself in your high places. In Jesus' name. Now, our soul winning squad will be having their outreach on Saturday. Please make sure you are there. Keep following up your new convert. Do all you can to bring them to church. Pay for their transportation. Let it be in your heart. A lady shared a testimony sometimes ago. They wanted to hire a Toyota IAS to bring people to church. They had no money. But by faith, they went to the transporter and said, we want to hire Toyota IAS. And the transporter asked them, what do you want to do with it? They said, want to take people to church. He said, if that's the case, I will not give you IAS. I will give you Costa and it will be free. I will give you Costa. Costa. Instead of taking 18 people, you will take over 30 people. That's how they made it. Take a step. Let God see that you want this thing done and he will get it done by your hand. Good news. <laughs> Next Sunday is our special communion service. Amen. Don't miss it. Always unique. Powerful things happening on such days. And it will be our covenant day of fruitfulness. Your dryness, your emptiness, miscarriages, and all such is over right now. Bring your baby items when you are coming and expect God's mighty intervention in the precious name of Jesus. Wednesday will be preparatory. Please circulate the ambulance out there. Tell people to read the testimonies behind so that they can know what to expect. Take it upon yourself. Everywhere. Yesterday I saw a lot of young people in this church around the street corner circulating ambulance, inviting people to come and I know many of them are here today. Our focus on Wednesday will be preparatory. We'll be praying for fruitfulness and uh, it will be a great time. It will be a foretaste of what God will do on Sunday. Do all you can. If it means traveling from far, travel from far. There are people who come from the city, from FCT, for service here every Wednesday. Never say somewhere is too far for you. If you have an appointment to go and collect money somewhere, do you say it's far from you? You don't say that. Don't miss it. Don't miss Winner Satellite Fellowship on Saturday. Invite all of your newcomers to be there, and of course on Sunday. We have been told what of a Bible Institute is opening next two Mondays, precisely Monday 13. Get ready for it and be blessed. Should you need counseling, please meet with our anointed pastor, and I mean anointed pastor, because of different wonders happening by their hand out there at the Kingdom Heritage Model School, they will help you out. And of course, you have 24-7, they are on duty on these telephone lines. Don't miss it. God bless you in Jesus' name. Get the books of the month, very anointed books. You see them displayed on the screen out there. Get CDs on teachings on prosperity and other aspects of life that will be a blessing to you. 
And finally, all church workers, all church workers, members of service unit, members of statutory bodies, elders, pastors, deacons, we have special meeting which was announced since last Saturday, Sunday. At the end of the third service, make sure you don't miss it. Be blessed as you come in Jesus' precious name. Please rise to your feet. Pick up your business contact items as you expect God to visit you. As we are going to pray right now, I want all of our first-time worshipers, if today is your first time worshiping in this church, I want special prayer for you. I want the congregation want to pray for you specially. All of you who are worshiping us for the very first time in this church, come to the altar here right now. Come to the altar. Take your Bible, whatever you come to church, you come to the altar right now. Come to the altar right now. Come and receive the blessing of God. All first time worshipers, start coming. Don't leave anything behind, your bag, your, uh, your telephone, your cap, don't leave anything behind. If you came with children, come with those children to the altar with you. Meanwhile, everybody, lift up your business contact, whatever you came to church with. Your business card, your instrument of work, your, if you're a tailor, your tape rule, if you are selling in the market, little grain that you came to church with, lift it up. He is going to multiply by the hand of God. The God of this commission who prospers the business of the kingdom here will prosper. Are you speaking to the Lord at all? Father, I believe in you. I believe in your prophet. I believe in the priest in the house. I believe, I believe, I will prosper from now. I believe everything I lay my hands on to do shall prosper. I will no longer go down. Nothing will run dry in my hand again. Somebody raise your voice. Don't keep quiet. Raise your voice. Don't keep quiet. Your mouth belongs to you. You can say what you expect. Say it right now. Declare it right now. Declare it right now. Oh, yes. The blessing of the Lord is upon you. Declare it right now. The blessing of the Lord is upon you. Declare it right now. The blessing of the Lord is upon you. Declare it right now. The blessing of the Lord is upon you. Declare it right now. The blessing of the Lord is upon you. Declare it right now. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Every one of you that came to worship with us for the first time today, Somebody may have invited you, but it is God who brought you. And God always brings people to bless them. Therefore, I pronounce you blessed today. This entire church pronounce you blessed today. Church, are you blessing them? Set your hands here and bless them. Let's bless all of our friends, our brothers and sisters who are watching with us for the first time today. They will come back to share their testimony in Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. Everybody lift up your items right now. Lift up your items as we pray. Now, the God of this commission prosper you today. Just as the business of Isaac went forward, in the time of famine, your business is moving forward. They tried to stop Isaac's business, but he went forward and forward until he came to a place of rest called Rehoboth. Everyone fighting you in your business will be pushing you into your Rehoboth. The next time they announce to Isaac, we have found water, we have found water, we have found water. Every adversity in business is turned to opportunities for you. are going backward, you'll be going forward. Where the road is blocked for some, new doors will be opening to you. Go from here, you are blessed. It's a new day for you. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Amen. Our first time worshipers, once again, we are glad to receive you. Will you please because you are our guest today, we'd like you to be the first to exit from the church so you can be given your due honor. From the middle to the right, please go this way, and on the other side, go that way. Everybody, one more time, lift up your hands. Coronavirus will not find a way to your house. <laughs> the world is talking of other diseases. That should not be news to us because the Bible already told us. But as for you, the son of righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. When they are counting the afflicted with cancer, with disease, with pain, with arthritis, your name will not be on the list. Sir. You will not die of any sickness or disease. You shall be alive and well. Where all
others are contacting diseases through you, they will be contacting divine health. With your two hands lifted, bless yourself with the goodness of the Lord. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. It's my year of breaking limits. Then what eyes have not seen nor ears heard shall be your experience all through the year 2020. Congratulations. Amen and amen. God bless you. You are returning with your testimony. Let's quickly file out so second service book can come in. Praise the Lord. If you came to the service after the offering, cast the offering with the officials, all the entrances, and receive the fullness.